everyone! Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you came here today. Today we are going to do Valentine's! I am so excited about this. I have always enjoyed rubber stamping. I think it was like one of the first crafts that I ever did and I have quite a collection. The past few years, um, as my soap making became all time consuming, I missed out on doing a lot of rubber stamping. I'm not talking scrapbooking. I never did a whole lot of scrapbooking, but I always liked making cards and things with rubber stamps. And to me, I've seen this field change. When I first started rubber stamping, when my girls were just little, and they are now 22 and 23, you'd walk into um, Hobby Lobby or Joann's or Michael's and there would be like a whole row both sides full of different rubber stamps. Now they have maybe six feet worth of rubber stamps. The stamp stores, I know all the stamp stores here in San Antonio have closed down. I believe there's one left in New Braunfels and that's not really a stamp store though she has a lot of stamps. It's more of a scrapbook store. That being said, I still really enjoy rubber stamping. I was kind of disappointed when I went on YouTube and looked for a rubber stamping. They didn't have a whole lot that were recent. And I'm not quite sure why this art form fell out of favor. I still have a lot of my rubber stamps. I still have a lot of my supplies. I can get the basic supplies. Amazon still has a whole lot. At Christmas time, I was really inspired. If you go over to Miss Cherry's site, I'll link it down below. At Christmas time she had a card exchange and I started thinking, you know, I used to make all of my Christmas cards myself and mail them out. I haven't even mailed a Christmas card in I don't know how long. I don't know where that habit got lost, but I thought for Valentine's Day I would make some Valentine's cards. These are my Valentines with a Disney twist on them. Of course, my girl Tinkerbell, and then Winnie the Pooh. And I'm going to show you how, to, how I made these. these. I just used basic stamping techniques on these, so they're really easy for anybody to do. And if you watch all the way to the end, I will send out at least 10 of my Valentines, my handmade Valentines. So if you watch all the way to the end, I will tell you how to be one of those 10 people. Okay, let's get to making. This is gonna be the first Valentine that we make. And like I said, I'm just going to do the basic stampy. I'm not gonna do anything intricate. For this, I used two stamps, I used just this plain Tinkerbell stamp. You can see it's not a Valentine stamp at all. And then in my lettering kit, there's a little heart here. Okay. So when you stamp, you really do need something underneath your paper. I'm just going to use this piece of cardboard. I also like to use this, these, these distressings. I don't know why. They just seem to work the best for me. So I'm just going to use a black distress ink on this. And we're just going to stamp it all up. Make sure you get all the spots. And then you can do what some people call huffing. It's just that you kind of breathe on it to make sure all that ink is still you just take it or leave it. Okay, and then you just put it down on your paper and then just press down evenly. And there you have Tinkerbell. For the little heart, I actually used some pigment ink that I had. I'm going to get out a baby wipe because I want to clean the side of that heart because if you look at the stamp real close you'll see it's really easy to get that ledge with ink on it and you don't want to do that. So what I do is very carefully 
very carefully just try to get the heart in ink. And then if I see that the edge has gotten any, then I wipe it off with a baby wipe. See, there's a heart. And you can stamp it a couple of times because the first time it'll come out nice and clear, and the second time it'll come out a little faded. Now you can see this time, if you look up close, I got a little bit on there, so I just wiped the side off with a baby wipe. It comes right off and it's done the stamp. So. I kind of wanted glittery hearts in with my painted hearts. So I purchased these at Hobby Lobby. You can see they're $1.99, but all their Valentine stuff is already 40% off. So that was a really good deal. Get the one I already opened here. And those are all in pink and red, just like what I stamped. So. I'm not quite sure. Valentiny is a word, but we're gonna make. Now, to do her wings, I used, I used this Valentine glitter glue. I also got this at Hobby Lobby, it was $2.99, but again, everything is 40% off already. That I use, I'm just going to use the end of a matchstick. Because end of a matchstick, it doesn't matter if I get glitter on it or not. You see it has a wide nozzle, but my wings are kind of narrow. So what I did was I just, oops, squeezed the tube till some came out and then got it on the end of this and then just, and then just filled it in. This gives it a little dimension, a little sparkle, because Tinkerbell has to have a little sparkle, you know. And then just bring the glue with the glitter. Make sure, even though the hearts are in one spot, make sure you get the, the glitter glue all over the place. So it has some dimension. And you can just let that dry. You can also use your heat gun to dry it. I'm just gonna let it dry. And then I just use pencils to color it in. I have my pencils in the top of my box here. I've always loved Prisma color pencils, but you know, I've used my kids Crayola colored pencils. They're just colored pencils. So use what you have and then just color it in. Then if you were lucky to have found a flesh tone pencil, I don't know why these are always so difficult to find. Prisma does have one, a light peach. That's the one that I use. Now, once the wings get dry, I'm going to fussy cut around this. Fussy cutting, if you can look at this card, I just cut around that. And I didn't nail down, glue down her wings on this one either because I wanted it to, her to be more, her wings to be up. But, so you can see, I just wanna cut around here.
Okay, so the next layer that I did was just white cardstock, and this is pink washi tape. Okay, I have found over time that the more straight I try to make things, the more crooked they turn out. So I have found over time that I just try to make it crooked. You can see on this finished card that they're not all lined up perfect. So I don't try to do that. So this is just pink washi tape that I have from my planner. Just has a pretty glitter to it, which I thought was very Valentine. So I just lined it up and then cut it off on the end and then just put it over. You can see there's more on this end than there is on this end, but that's just the way that it goes. And then I did that to all four sides. So now I have the first two layers. Okay, now this background here is just a piece of scrapbook paper. It's not Valentine's Day other than just, you know, what color it is. So we're going to cut this off to layer behind here. For the back, I have just cut a regular piece of, what is it, eight and a half by 11 cardstock in half. This is one of my favorite tools. You can see it is well loved and well used. I've had this for years. This is a bone folder. I have several of these. And it's just, when you, when you go to make a crease, if I'm just using my hand, that's as well as it makes. But with this bone folder, it makes a beautiful crease. They are not that expensive. They last forever and they're just well worth the investment. So bone folder. So now I have my layers. Now you can attach these any way that you want to. You could use a glue stick. You could use one of those sticker makers and run it through the sticker maker as long as you've waited for the glue to dry. I like to use double-sided tape. You can use a tape runner. You can use whatever. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> but like I said before, I do like to do mine so it's off-centered. If it's already crooked to begin with, people can't say that I tried to make it straight and it wasn't. I love, love, love double-sided tape. I love this thing. I don't know where I got it. Please don't ask me. I've had it forever. I will cry when it runs out, but it just kind of just kind of cuts the tape off. Okay. Then you just take off the backing. So here I go and. I am not trying to make it perfect. Here's the next layer. And I kind of try to put the double sided tape down on the washi tape so it'll stay put because washi tape is not permanent. I don't want tape sticking out. And 
and I don't want any tape on her wings because like I said, I want her wings to kind of be free flowing. And if you had a glue stick, you'd glue all the way around. I'm not really kind of particular about that. I just, and there we go. There's your Valentine. Now, if you were, you can, and then it's, it's a card. So when you open it up, you can write whatever. If you're really ambitious, you could print something out on your printer before you cut this card stock. So you could have a saying in there before. Or you could just hand write, Happy Valentine's Day. But there is your Tinkerbell. Now let's do Winnie the Pooh. And it is basically kind of the same technique. We're going to stamp it, color it, layer it. I'm going to show you how I did this around here. And then I used a couple different stickers. So the first thing we're do, again, I use the distressed ink. And then I'm just going to color it. I do love these. That's not quite the color I want. I do love these Prisma. I think that their their color is really there. It is. They're very rich in color. Prisma Pencils has a magic, it's called a magic blender. Let me get the color off the tip of it because I used it for red. But if you look closely where I colored Pooh Bear, you could see lines. Using this magic blender, it kind of takes those away. Not all of them. but I actually really love the looks that it gives. And then I, in this card, the one that I've already finished, I went over the friendship. I went over the friendship with red pencil. And then we need to color the grass down here. And then I just took a green pencil. And then I took another shade of green and mixed it in there as well. Because grass is not all the same color. I realize that many of you are looking at snow right now. But. Now to make this a little more Valentine's Day, it has three flowers on it. I just went back to my sticker sheet and I took the hearts and I covered up the flowers. Yeah, you can see the flowers behind it a little. I, to me, it doesn't matter that much. Now, before I do the next step, I want to cut around this. As you can see on this one, I didn't really fussy cut it. I just did an oval shape with an end shape down there. So let's do that to this one. As I was cutting that, I noticed that, excuse my farmhouse reach, I didn't color in the bees. So I'm just taking a yellow pencil and I'm just, it, they're very, very small. So I'm just kind of putting a blotch of yellow. Okay, so sometimes, well, for me, many times, the white edge around when you fussy cut it just bothers me. So I'm going to take a green ink pad. This one's mowed lawn, distressed ink mowed lawn. And I'm going to kind of go around the edge. I've got the ink pad and I just kind of touch the edge here. Now at the bottom I have grass. So I'm kind of going to go like at the corner, using the corner to make it look like there's even more grass down here at the bottom. 
And there you go. There's your Pooh Bear. And Piglet. Can't forget Piglet. Now I just need the two layers of, these are both just card stocks. The pink is kind of a textured card stock. And then we've got the green. I'm going to cut those. So here are my three bottom layers. I'm going to go ahead and attach these all together. Okay, for this one, I wanted a sentiment up here at the top, and I chose the word cherished. So I thought it went with Valentine's Day, and I thought it went with a friendship theme. So what I did, I actually had these clear stamps, and it actually has one that said cherish on it. I actually bought these on clearance at Hobby Lobby after Valentine's Day, so always be on the lookout. Even if it's not that holiday, you can find some really good deals that clearance item. So I took, I couldn't find my small acrylic stamp pad, but here's the word cherish. And I'm just gonna do it in the green distress ink and I'm gonna stamp it up, or ink it up, sorry. Now when you put this down, make sure it is so you can read it. That's one nice thing about clear stamps is you can see exactly where it's going to be and to make sure that it's not backwards because yes I have stamped things backwards before and there is cherish now this time I used some of the larger hearts and no two cards are ever going to turn out the same I'm sorry it just never works out that way these were more stickers that I found at Hobby Lobby of course, you know that I was attracted to these because they are purple. And then we just have to attach our Pooh and Piglet. A lot of my things will have clearance stamps on them. So there we go. I have two Winnie the Pooh and I have two Tinkerbell Valentines. And you can see that really didn't take very long at all. I think the longest part is waiting for the glue to dry on her wings. And you have Valentines. These definitely aren't your Hallmark cards. To me, I would rather get a handmade card than a store-bought one, especially from my kids. You all who are mothers will know that. So I said in the beginning, if you watched all the way to the end, I would tell you how to get one of these handmade Disney Valentines. As you can see, I already have four Valentines. And I'm probably making a lot more. They may be like this. They may be something different. Who knows? I'm going to leave my email address below in the description. If you are a subscriber and you would like to have a Valentine's Day card from me, take my email address and just drop me a line saying, Hey, Judy, I want to see one of those pretty Valentines in person. Can you send me one? And if you link your address, your mailing address, I don't care whether it's a house address or a post office box, I'll mail to either. I will send you out one of these Valentines to the first 10 people. If there's more, we'll see, but I'll guarantee the first 10 people will get a special Valentine. I really, really like this hobby. It's, I'm not an artist, I can't draw, but I can rubber stamp, so it really, really does give let me know what you think. I would really love for you to join my Disney family by subscribing below. I, I don't know which direction. It's in a corner down below. Just hit that red subscribe button. It will notify you. If you hit the bell above the subscribe button, it will notify you each and every time I have content. I'm going to have a lot of Disney craft projects online from now on. I really, really enjoy doing this. You can see that I make a mess when I do it, but I really, really enjoy this. If you enjoy it, I would love to hear your feedback. As always, get out there and do something great. I'd love to see your Valentine's. If that's what you go out there and do, that's great. Use that email address below and drop me a line if you'd like one of these Valentine's for your own and have a magical day. <laughs>